Hi, I'm Jamie Philbrook for IamRogue.com, and I'm here standing in front of the 1967 Lincoln Continental using a new film, Hit and Run, written and directed by Dax Shepard. I had a chance to talk to actor and comedian Tom Arnold, who's also in the film, about his performance, and here's what he had to say about Hit and Run. Um, I really enjoyed the movie. Thank you. Uh, I wanted to begin by asking you, because I know you worked with Dax before mm -hmm. as a director on Brothers Justice. Oh, yeah. How has he sort of grown and changed as a director? Well, this there was a script this time. Last time <laughs> it was to set up a premise and we ad-libbed, you know, which was very funny and fun to me because it became super personal. In that case, he, he questioned whether I was too old to play his brother, which really pissed me off at the time because... You know, it seemed crazy that he would offend me that way. But uh, in this case, you know, we had a script, so the uh, the hurt feelings were built in, the embarrassment, and then uh, what happens after that, you know, it just comes out of however your character, at. my character gets really mad when he gets embarrassed, you know, and that's how he wrote it, and that's pretty easy for me to play. And uh, his character has an interesting relationship with my character, too, where instead of going battling, you know, Try to get me calmed down, and you guys are more friends. Right. Where really the roles that you guys both have, you shouldn't right. really be friends. Right. In, in an ordinary action film, right? You wouldn't be. Right. And and I think what is this is such a small town, you know. And I am, you know, the last uh, bastion of being a federal marshal is guarding a guy in a little small town because you screwed up so much. And he's my only friend. Obviously, I, apparently, I don't have any family. I don't have. Uh, He's my friend, and when he decides to leave, not only is he do I have a, a duty as a federal marshal to, to protect him, but he's my only friend in the world. And, and you know, as my relationship status changes during the movie, which is thanks, Dax. Um, <laughs> but you know, it, it's uh, that that is seems pretty real to me. Yeah. So I mean, I have to say, coming to the set, you, you always wonder when someone directs their first movie. I've been around a lot of people that directed their first movie. You know, there's a, a point where you know, all this is going on, and Dex is starring, and his, his fiance is starring, and he's doing his stunts, and he's written it, and he's producing it, and whatever, and at a certain point, and he's got all his friends, so that's a lot of personalities. Yeah, yeah there's a lot of people, we were sharing trailers, which is horrible, but we're all, you know, Could we you all- share a trailer with? Well, Michael Rosenbaum, for briefly, and then I kicked him out, because I thought, <laughs> you know, it's, it, and he's a great guy, but I don't want to see his freaking abs, I don't want to, <laughs> and his socks. So, anyway, uh, but every day I felt, you know, no matter how I was feeling, and I wasn't always feeling great, uh, I would look at Dax and he'd be like on top of the world, you know, this is amazing, we're doing this, this is awesome, he's so excited. And I thought, well, if he's if he's that confident, maybe I'll buy into that. Yeah, that's great, that's what you want from him. Yeah, director. that's what you want. Um, you have a great scene with Jason Bateman. Oh, yeah. And he says, I think, one of the funniest lines I've seen in a film this yeah. year. Do you know what I'm talking about, the condom line? Oh, right, remind me. Yeah, he's I mean, you're, you're with your significant other yeah. there, and he says, did you guys need to borrow a condom? Do you want oh, me to walk yeah, right? It's just right, that classic right. Jason right. Bateman. He did. Was Jason, that improv? Or yeah, it, and it was how improv. Do you keep a it was improv. Face he was doing that. He is so funny, you know, because I had to play it, keep a straight face. But, you know, he, he had, well, I remember one time he was like, you need to lay down? You need to take a nap right now? You guys don't want your physical. Because I looked like such a mess. He had, he did a different thing every take. That's and amazing. he is so hilarious, and hopefully they'll have that in the DVD. Jason Bateman's. He was just, and I had to pretend like I wasn't laughing and I was sincere and it was hard. I clocked you at 127 miles per hour. I'm a U.S. Marshal. And I've got someone in witness protection who needs my protection. Do you think it's safe to say that you shouldn't be driving at NASCAR speeds? Oh, I, I oh. didn't know what to, I oh, have yeah. no idea. Oh, you know what? 